Your car's safety standards mean nothing if you are in an underride crash with a tractor trailer. The bumpers between a car and a semi simply don't match up. The first point of impact in an underride is the windshield and then the driver and passenger's heads. Imagine how many lives would have been saved if the 1896 and 1915 side guard patents had become the standard. If in 1967, comprehensive underride protection had become the standard following actress Jane Mansfield's death. If in 1969, side underride protection had become the standard as was then anticipated by the Federal Highway Administration. In 1977, the president of the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety warned U.S. Senators that blood has been shed, heads literally have rolled, and countless thousands of Americans have been injured because these agencies did not act. Further inaction would be inexcusable. In 2002, the American Trucking Associations predict side underride regulations will be in place by 2006. In 2004, Roya Sadi is killed in a side underride crash. Her mother, Lois Durso, creates StopUnderrides.org, which has championed this cause ever since. In 2013, Analia and Mary are killed in an underride crash. Their mother, Marianne Karth, starts Analia and Mary for truck safety. She has tirelessly campaigned for meaningful changes ever since. In 2014, the National Transportation Safety Board recommends side underride protection. In 2016, industry and victims come together at the first underride roundtable. In the following years, every major trailer manufacturer voluntarily strengthen guards to meet the new tough guard standard so that the rear of trailers are much safer and save lives. Now, we need to do the same for the sides of trailers. Trucking companies pay extra to add fuel efficient side skirts to their trailers, but these do not protect against underride. The next step is protection for the side of trailers that save fuel and save lives. The Insurance Institute for Highway Safety supports side underride guards for trailers. In 2017, the Insurance Institute performs crash tests into the side of a trailer. Here are the results with and without a guard at 35 miles per hour. Later in 2017, there is another crash test at a second underride round table. Here are the results with a guard at 40 miles per hour. Trailer manufacturer Hyundai's chief sales officer says, if the government makes them mandatory, we would of course do our best to implement them. As seen here at an Ohio rest stop in 2020, some motor carriers have voluntarily installed side underride protection. So now what do we do? Trucking companies could demand trailers with side underride guards. Trailer manufacturers could supply trailers with side underride guards, or the government could mandate side underride guards ideally with the support of industry, because a government law or regulation will place all manufacturers on a level playing field. Side underride protection allows the energy absorbing bumpers, crumple zones, seat belts, and airbags in your car to protect you like they were designed. It's been over 100 years. The past victims, and the potential future victims are begging, fix this problem now.